welcome to an episode of Xenoblade Chronicles. This is Xenoblade Chronicles, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> this is my favorite character in Xenoblade Chronicles. King K. King K. Rule. Anyway, uh... Yeah, this is one weird plot test to get to be this position. <laughs> anyway, let's watch that intro. I think it might be because the laptop is between me and the... And we were trying to enter the central factory. Central factory. <laughs> the wrong animation. Yes. Yeah. Oh, just come and get the banana when everything's quiet down a bit. That thing's gonna be mine! Oh. <laughs> also, you took a <laughs> Yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Not allowed to be on screen. We didn't pay for his rights to yeah. show his face. Now he'll just be known as Mr. Dream. Mr. Dream? <laughs> we can't move the artillery. They what? literally just lifted the audio straight from the original Why? edition of the game. Sir, hey man, the why'd you give me a British copy of the game? The conduction cable. <laughs> there is no the ether fuel proceeded to leak copy. out, and now the cylinder is empty. <laughs> Dude, fucking, we'll I only speak cylinder, American. Then. <laughs> Can't you even do something as simple as that? The auxiliary cylinders have all been used up. It'll be three days until more come in, sir. I told you to keep a stock of fuel in reserve. Sorry, sir. <laughs> he's yeah, going hard. Yeah, it looks like he's trying to swat a mosquito. Oh god! <laughs> he fucking beat the shit out of him. At this rate, the man will be dead before they see any action. <laughs> hey, oi, cadet! You got a license for being a shit soldier? <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Alright, here we go. <laughs> Is that possible? Uh, ah! Welcome to fall damage. <laughs> it was wielded by the Bioness. The same Bioness that we all live on. It must have a secret. That's how Dunban was able to destroy so many Mekon. I like to imagine that he's just monologuing. And why right he lost now the use of his of right arm. He doesn't even know she's there. Yeah. If I can just unlock the secret of its power. But now his lips Junk. aren't. Oh, damn it. <laughs> But I like to think so. Fiora. <laughs> it makes him look a lot more like a villain. <laughs> if he was just Great. having it's a crazy secret. monologue about how he wants more power. Really? Yeah, secretly <laughs> Shulk amazing. is the villain the whole time. <laughs> Alright. Brian! Goodness. That machine costs hundreds of dollars. Fiora, are you okay? Probably, yeah. Uh I'm fine. Ah. Uh. It's Fiora broken. is secretly a goddess. Nasty. It's yeah. always Kirby and Sonic. I mean, not Sonic. What's wrong with Whoa! That's the one. Whoa! It's always Kirby and Mario. I threw Mario in jail. Now I'm Nintendo's biggest mascot. I framed Mario for my tax evasion. <laughs> Is the mobile artillery that I'm no longer on the lamp. Don't tell anyone I said that, though. Probably. <laughs> You know your way around there, right? Mercy's gonna yeah. run at you at uh, okay, 945 you. <laughs> miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Why does she? She sounds like she's vomiting every time she jumps. Yeah, it sounds like she's in physical pain whenever she jumps. <laughs> Shulk can't wear the bikini top? Nope. I am outraged. <laughs> Alright. This, see this right here? That's why Final Fantasy VII is better. <laughs> <laughs> trap show. I mean, I mean trap, uh, trap cloud. Trap cloud. <laughs> I've never seen one like it. You slackers, fire! Shoot it down! He sounds like the villain in a movie when the hero shows up. Yeah, kind of. Except he's like the hero. So. What the fuck are you idiots doing? Shoot him! <laughs> <laughs> I want to go back to the... <laughs> I, I like playing as her, actually. Okay. I don't know if that's gonna be what I stick with for a long time or not, but 
I do like it for now. Yeah, she's definitely a character to stick with. Five minutes later. No! <sighs> Ironic. My head. There are two versions of me. One of them is saying that. It's telling me, listen to what Dunbar said. Continue, there are two wolves. What about the other okay. one? It keeps shouting. Make them pay. Destroy every single one of them. That's me. And it won't you're stop getting yeah. louder. <laughs> That's me you're hearing. That doesn't sound like you. Yeah, that's <laughs> us. <laughs> we, we want the Metcon to go be. fuck themselves. We're the devil on your shoulder, my dude. There You've you got go, two man. devils on your shoulder. <laughs> and it's me and you. Within you, there are two Let's Players. <laughs> one wants you to kill the Mechon. So the other one wants you, wants you to kill, kill the Mechon. Right <laughs> you want to kill the Mechon? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Water that makes you slow. If you want to be a dunce, you can actually spam jump to go faster. Can we get that one meme um, with the guy eating the powder that does whatever? What would you do if we wrote a campaign where. It was a, like a 4 to 14 campaign. The premise of it is at the beginning, um, something stupid like, I'm, this is obviously what I'm ripping off, but like, someone's clothes are stolen, right? Alright. And then the entire rest of the campaign is just the, the fucking quest to find out who stole the clothes and get them back. It just gets more and more convoluted. <laughs> Until you have to like kill some king or some shit. Yeah. <laughs> You're just fighting a nation by the end for clothes. <laughs> that, that would be hilarious. That would be a very fun campaign. <laughs> I'm thinking more. I'm thinking more like it's just ordinary like clothes. Yeah, because like... the entire point is that the the quest is that the, like the inevitable goal of the quest. It's totally not worth the time you're spending in it. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, like, some guy's, like, pocket watch was in it, though. All right. And he, like, stole it to, to get his watch back. Mm -hmm. And then, like, you find out that the watch, like, was actually a compass, like, Captain Jack's that leads you to, like, what you desire most or something. All right. Like, it just, it just keeps spiraling out or of it's control. It's just some, like, important MacGuffin magic item. Yeah, it just keeps spiraling out of control. Like, it's really not worth it. Yeah. <laughs> but you're invested by this point, right, and you just gotta, gotta do it. We gotta do it now. <laughs> We're in too deep. <laughs> it, like, it gets to the point where by the end of it, you're just like, Why are we here? <laughs> <laughs> How did we get here? <laughs> I know only too well that desire for revenge. And the crushing pain of losing those... Is the message of his Close speech right now that you should get revenge? I can't stand by. Yes. <laughs> I know that better than this anyone, that feeling down. of revenge. Yeah, that's it what It feels he, good! That's what Let's he, do it! That's what he said. So it's just like, I'm gonna fuck him up. <laughs> Ready? He's got the blood in his eyes. Yeah. <laughs> what a weird message. <laughs> It's like the exact opposite of what most games do. Dada Kong need food! Dada Kong need food now! Dada? Didn't you just eat all the food? Boy, what is this going on? They need more food. Meet Ricky, Wifey Pon, and Little Pon. Aww. You've got to be joking. Wife and children. How old are you? Ricky, how old are you? Ricky have 40 years. <laughs> He's actually a middle aged dude. Yeah! <laughs> I like Ricky now. <laughs> He's just a fucking middle-aged man. With a wife and kids. He's a deadbeat dude who couldn't pull out. And now he's become an adventurer against his will. Uh, we'll be back next week. Good night, and stay interested. Uh, leave a dislike and unsub. Good night. Uh, comment how much you hate me. Um, what was your least favorite part of this stream? Um, tweet it at me. <laughs> so that we can do more things like it. Yeah. Bird up. <laughs> Odin asked, uh, trivia question, can Tom and Jerry talk? The answer is yes. Yes, because it happens in yeah. a movie and it was fucking cursed. Yeah, no. <laughs> so, the answer is yes, but not in any good media. <laughs> like, uh, people 
loudly um, denounce it for be, <laughs> for just how cursed it is that they talk in that movie. They 100% can talk, but they also 100% should not talk. Oh, and then we get run over by a car. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan gets hit by a bus. Are you that? Wait. Definitive edition. I wonder if I can just jump off the high lines. Yeah! Noise. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Termo. Did you get an achievement for that? Yes. <laughs> you get an achievement for falling to your death. Nice. It was called Terminal Velocity. <laughs> yes. Now, if you know about Dark Souls, name every weapon. Uh, Lothric Straight Sword. <laughs> Zwei. No, wait, 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 wait. No, I can answer that question. Dark Souls 1, Zwei Hander. That's every weapon. Uh, Dark Souls 2 is the best one. Nice. I know you're just trolling me. Uh, just pour some gas on that little spark. <laughs> I think it's pretty telling that in Dark Souls 1, the uh, bad ending is the one where you let the flame die. Like, wait, we could have had so much more. Yeah. And then in Dark Souls 3, the bad ending is trying to keep it alive. Yeah. And the good ending is letting the flame die out. Maybe the inevitable message of Dark Souls is not one of hope nor of hopelessness, but of um, fighting to continue something you have, but knowing when to let go. Okay. This stuff really has health care. We have health care, you just can't afford it. <laughs> yeah. It exists. <laughs> For some people. Sleepy Gamer says Australia is cooler than the US. Uh, I disagree both on a um, both on a literal heat uh, level and also on a uh, figurative There no country scale. no country that loses a war against kangaroos is cooler than the US. <laughs> I thought it was emus. Uh yeah, sure. Probably both knowing them. Yeah, probably. Dude, of course you have fucking health care because, like, everything wants to kill you. Yeah, you got it. You need it. Like, what's the point of health care if, like, everything just instantly obliterates you? <laughs> we have Tim Tam. What the fuck is a Tim Tam? It's not a benefit if nobody knows what it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's this is gonna be one of those things where he says what it is and we're gonna be like, oh, that's like fucking Jelly Ranchers or some shit. But Solen. to answer your question legitimately, I think I'd rather have the soul transferring power. Um, especially if you can do it permanently, because then you can just, like... Stay. Yeah, you can stay alive by just possessing new useful. people. Yeah. yeah. Also, I could totally fuck with, you know, politics. Oh, yes! Do that, please. Yeah, just, like, be in the crowd, point at them, and be like, Alright, I'm you now. Time to do <laughs> some shit. I, I am... Look at me. I, I am, am the, the president now. <laughs> I am the captain now. <laughs> Although imagine just suddenly being 70 years old. That would probably oh. be really jarring. Yeah, that would feel really unpleasant. I, I can imagine. I like how the implication is that all presidents are 70 <laughs> years old. Well, this because one. it's kind of true. Well, this one is. Yeah. Most are pretty old. Uh, I just want to do a wrinkly... Jesus fuck. I'm not even reading that. <laughs> <laughs> It's on the screen, you don't need me to read it. <laughs> Ooh, oh no! <laughs> I mean, Sleepy Ted, have you seen our uh, Twilight Princess playthrough? That's all I have to say about that. <laughs> Jacob, you know what I'm referring to. I know what I'm referring to. What would be your superpower that is crap? Like going invisible but only when you're playing a trumpet or flying but only... Only in a plane that's already in the air. <laughs> um, I'm a big fan of I have perfect aim, but only when aiming for my allies. Nice. That's a funny one. Um, How about... What about that one X-Man who could explode and destroy the universe once? <laughs> <laughs> well, you only need to do it once. <laughs> yeah. But like, because it would kill him. Yeah. Like, he could do it. <laughs> but it would kill him. It would. Like, yeah, you can do it, but why would you? What about the power to shit yourself on command? That's pretty shitty. That's pretty bad. Yeah. 
Like it's technically a power. Um, how about the uh, power to always know what's a good or bad decision after the decision has been made? <laughs> Perfect hindsight. Oh shit! Maybe that was a bad idea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Perfect hindsight is pretty good. Uh, there's also that character that we came up with during the Shadow of the Colossus playthrough. Which, by the way, watch the best of Shadow of the Colossus. It's one of our best series. Um, there's that character that we came up with. I, I'm pretty, I don't know if it was Evan who came up with it. It was the, the guy who, um, always can sense danger, but, like, ten seconds too late. Oh. <laughs> so, like, he knows it's coming, but it's always after he can do something about it. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> That would be a pretty shitty power. <laughs> yeah, that would suck. Being able to summon a lamp, but only once. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty specific. <laughs> you guys can take a away one thing from your memory. What would it be? I actually have a really good answer to this, but I'm not sure if I want to say it on the stream. <laughs> um, it, it doesn't really matter anymore, so I guess I can tell this story. Um, so, when I was in high school... This is a really embarrassing story, by the way, but it's just irrelevant now. I told it in a comment section, actually, on one of Joel's videos. Oh. Um, because it was relevant to the video, somehow I don't remember. So, when I was in high school, I had a crush on this one girl. A lot of embarrassing stories start this way for people I know. Um, and... After all my training... Uh, I was, you have to understand, I was not the fucking bottle of charisma I am now <laughs> in high school, um, as I'm sure most people were not. Yeah. Um, having second thoughts about telling this story, but it's already too late. I can't stop now. Um, we did a, so, okay, so I have this comic that I wrote just for my own, like, fun. Um, where the premise of it was, it started as like a joke where in my art class there was this rude guy that sat near me. He was like mm -hmm. kind of a dick, but he was funny. All right. And um, so I kind of turned it into like a, like a running comic, and it, it became like a running gag, but only like for me. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. and I, I sort of had this whole like big long like uh like like series of just just dumb jokes in in this thing. Okay. And for my... There was a project that we had to do for... Um, shit. It was I, something Shakespeare, I think. Mm-hmm. I don't remember. I think it was, like, Macbeth or something. Um... But... The... Uh... So, so we did this project where we, ha where we had to write a comic, um, sort of of the of the story, and okay. I decided, um, and this on its own isn't a problem. It's the it's the inevitable slip up that it led to that is the real problem. I decided to sort of make, sort of extend my own running gag into this this comic of the thing we were doing, where I basically did a parody of it, um, where. The characters from the initial comic were, uh, were like per in the position of those characters. Okay. And um, I named the main character's sort of love interest after my crush. Oh. Yeah. Now you can see where this is going, which wasn't a big deal because it was a very common name. Mm-hmm. And. Like, I never in any way intended the, oh, yeah. anyone to understand that the main character was representing me, right? Charlotte now has a daisy effect, which is nice. Nice. I never intended anyone to, re to understand sort of the reference that I was doing. Right. And I'm giving the fucking presentation for this project where I'm talking about the comic, and somebody asks me a question because they're not understanding how it relates to the, the, the Ooh, story. Yeah. The, the story that I'm supposed to be mm -hmm. sort of parodying. And I accidentally referred to the fucking 
main character in first person. Oh. And I was just immediately like, what the fuck have I just done? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's yeah, like a it's train like... wreck waiting to happen mm -hmm. that, like, in hindsight, probably stupid. Okay. But, like, in the moment, I was like, ah, nobody will understand this anyway. But then I just totally fucking slipped up and said, mm -hmm. uh, like... I instead of the main character. Right. And I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> and the thing is, I don't think anyone actually noticed it oh, necessarily, right. or rather didn't probably in understand that that was what my intention was. Mm -hmm. But it was still fucking, like, embarrassing. And that's something that, even though it doesn't really matter, which is why I'm, like, kind of fine talking about it nowadays, it still fucking haunts me. Right. There's I mean, a lot of understand. Like I feel like everybody has those things where they remember something that they wish they didn't because it was just fucking embarrassing. Yeah. Um that one's mine. <laughs> just... Also fuck you, uh Sleepy Ted, don't start that shit again. <laughs> <laughs> He's writing fucking fanfic. Great. He did this on one of our live streams and we had the voice thing on. <laughs> it was pretty funny, I will admit. All right. But yeah, very awkward. Uh, shield book. Yeah. Let's just improve Charlotte's healing a little bit. Uh, yeah. Hey, I have a question for you, Sleepy Ted, because there's something that's been bugging me for, uh, years now. Um, remember that time when you said you'd donate 100 US dollars to charity if I sang the Nutshack theme? I sang the Nutshack theme. Did you actually do that? Because <laughs> I did it. <laughs> I fucking did. <laughs> it's the Nutshack. <laughs> <laughs> I did sing it. <laughs> I did. I sent you the receipt. I don't think I got the receipt, but I probably just missed the email. That's a shame. I'd ask you for your email, but that would be a really bad thing to ask on a live stream. Yeah, that would be uh, not so good. <laughs> My senior year, I uh, went with a friend of mine's sister because neither of us had dates. And it wasn't really like a date thing. Yeah. It was just like, yeah, she was like, yeah, if you ask me in a creative way, I'll go with you. Okay. Um, because she wanted to, she just wanted an excuse to go to another dance. Mm -hmm. And I just That's wanted just somebody to go with so I didn't have to be alone. Mm -hmm. And uh, she was cool. She was really nice. I respect her. Um, my, a friend of my mom owns a cab, com uh, not a cab company, a, a limo. No, doesn't own it. Works for a limousine company and was able to get us, like, a really cheap limo. Nice. And not only was that good for the night of, but also um, the way that I asked her to the dance. Because she said, you know, if you do it, find a creative way to do it. Was I showed up to the fucking school in a limo. Oh, no. To ask her. That was cool. I like big, stupid gestures. Even if I, even if I talk like a, like a jackass on streams for comedy's sake... I do like big gestures like that. It's fun. You had a crush in high school. Did you talk to her? Were you nervous? No, I didn't talk to her because I was a fucking loser. And she was very popular. Uh, I had a crush in high school. It was that uh, girl, Lauren. You probably don't remember. I fucking remember Lauren. Uh, yeah, I had a, like, gig ginormous crush on her. But because I have... She was cute. Because I have the social skills of a common net... <laughs> I was not able to correctly express my uh, feelings and kind of just did small talk for four years with her on and off. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that that's how that ended up. Weird party time. She was really nice though. Yeah, she was like the nicest person. And I was like nice, but I like, uh, I can't express romance. Dude, I was like that too. Uh, remember how I said I had a girlfriend in freshman year? Um, the only reason we broke up inevitably was that she moved away, but, um, that's not relevant to the story. I just thought it was to be relevant. Um, I forgot where I was going with this. My brain shut off as soon as I got into combat. This is why we don't, this is why I, I talk when I'm not the one playing. Um, oh yeah, her and I were, were, like, very awkward, because we were very much like, you know, it's freshman year, and we're like... Yeah. First time dating somebody. Um, I, I, I wish in hindsight I was better, more charming, 
and more like uh, open with her. Right. Um, and you know, more like emotional, but uh, in the end, it doesn't matter. Um, yeah. But it, it still does bug me a little bit. Um, mm -hmm. You know, it's. I forget where I was going with this, but it doesn't really matter. I mean, the thing about that thing in high school is that it's it doesn't bug me that it happened. It bugs me if is like, have I actually evolved past that point? <laughs> and I don't know if I can say yes. That's fair. You know, that's what bugs me is the not knowing part. Mm, yeah, no, I I totally get you. Oh, there's three items. You just Another thing is like missed opportunities. That's the thing that bugs me. Yeah. Um, something that, like, uh... Is this really how... No, this isn't bad. It's a blue tip. Um, yeah, no, one of, one of the worst things, in my opinion, is something almost being correct. Mm -hmm. You know? I don't mind if something is completely a mess, but if something is, like, really close to, to perfect, but, like, one thing off, it'll drive it insane. Right, that makes sense. Um, so, missed opportunities kind of factors into that. Mm -hmm. I can understand. What would you do if you saw your high school crush from all these years ago? Would you have the guts to talk to her? Honestly, Odin, I can say fairly proudly that I wouldn't be particularly interested in talking to her. Mm. Um, it was a very superficial thing. It was a very school crush kind of thing. Mm -hmm. You know um, what? Inevitably, I really wasn't that into her. You know what? Like, I as think, a person. I think I would totally talk to my crush again. Uh, I don't blame you. Lauren was actually really nice. Yeah. I can probably say that my crush was not uh, just a stupid one. Yeah, it was, um... It, it's... You, you had a much more uh, deep and interesting one than me because she actually was a, a very nice person. Even though no, no, no. I'm sure she understood what I was trying to do, even though I never ended up. She may have. In high school, man, it's it's pretty normal to be fucking clueless. Yeah. So it's I mean, also fully possible that she straight up had no idea. I mean, I. Yeah, yeah. No, I know. Uh, miss opportunities. Nathan is <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's he's all the way back in uh, Central Mass. Yeah, it's he's too moving, late, man. He's moving farther away. He went the he went the way of my first girlfriend and fucking yeah. moved away. So I guess uh, he moved away, man. it's too late for our forbidden love. You better act now before he moves even farther. Away. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I feel like if I if I approach him, he will move farther away. <laughs> And I wouldn't blame him. It's like, mm, you know what? Actually, a nice housing opportunity in Illinois just opened up. <laughs> yeah. If you found out that your crush had a crush on you to this day, what would you do? Call him. <laughs> Fuck, I'm the woman. Um, that's not true. It's just that I'd like to see what happens if I'm not. How fucking betrayed would you be if I fucking sent a link to this stream for one? I would be betrayed. That's bold. That's bold. You you were doubting your your fucking courage earlier. No, I'm saying like if I was face to face. But if somebody like sends it, like yeah, okay. Like fair enough. Yeah. Then it would at least give me an excuse to like talk to you. Yeah, that's fair. My brain shut off for some reason, and I was expecting reaction commands. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Back to actually playing the game. Loading. Yeah. But it wasn't the game that was loading, it was me. Yeah. Uh, shit. Let's massive heal yourself, because you're in bad trouble. Nice. I highly doubt either one has any one sentient interest in them. I think that's just hit Sleepy Ted trying to be cruel, but being terrible grandma in the process. Godzilla had a stroke trying to read that and died. Okay. This is bad. <laughs> Whatever it is. Oh, it's that fucking bitch over yeah, there! This bastard over here. You asshole. Yeah. Really? Is it that bad? Oh, right, this is the 80 something bitch. Yeah. Fuck, get me it out of really here. Is not get me out of here. Where do I go? 
No. Fuck. You go to the grave. I go to hell. Stay interesting. Uh, don't forget to unsub and leave a dislike. Yeah. I wouldn't blame you at this point with all that shit Sleepy Gamer posted in the chat. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> also, make sure to go over to his channel, sub to him, and then immediately unsub just to prove a point. Hmm. Good night. Defense systems Correct. are designed to prevent uninvited. Well, what does this do? Don't touch. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan. Classic. <laughs> Classic around. Well, give me the beat boys and free my soul. I wanna get tossed in a fucking hole and drift away. Drift away. Give me the yeet boys and free my soul. I wanna get tossed in a fucking hole and drift away. I have 14 health. I have zero health. Oh yeah? Yeah? A vision? Yeah, I'm gonna do something about that. Yeah. We're totally going to be able to help you right now. <laughs> fucking Ricky. Leave him alone, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Ricky getting Shrek for the 14th time. Right? I'm giving up on trying to do anything that makes sense. Get that fucking buff out of your ass. Alright, we got Shook up in time! <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> I hate this fucking fight right here. Uh, will you fucking come down here already, you little shit? Uh, what's that? It's the sound of your cheeks about to get one of them. <laughs> I just saw Melia's <laughs> health drop instantly. Alright, fuck it, that's a good enough excuse to get out of here. <laughs> Oh my god, everyone's dead! <laughs> <laughs> Odin asks, did you have a cartoon crush when you were young? Um... Uh... I don't know. Uh... Just kind of that didn't happen. Yeah, I mean, I guess, uh... I never really, like... Because, like, fictional characters. <laughs> um, I can say, however, that I, I did like H Hinata. I wouldn't say I had a crush on Hinata from Naruto, okay. but I I liked her as a character and I wanted her to be with Naruto. So like platonic crush? I was like shipping them. Okay. You know, I was yeah, like I that, that sort of thing. I get that. Um, although it's not shipping it, it's canon, which it is now. Well that just means that the ship's there. <laughs> there you go. It was one very uh, seaworthy vessel right there. But I don't know if that's exactly what you're asking, but that's the closest I can give you. Alright. Raid Shadow Legend. <laughs> Raid Shadow Legend. <laughs> this Dunban death is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legend. <laughs> Drop kicks to death. <laughs> Still the funniest thing in the game. It's fine, I'm just gonna down him again. I'm just gonna down him again. <laughs> this is one way to the break ultimate him. counterplay. <laughs> it works every time. <laughs> also, I think that actually killed them. <laughs> because they fell off. The they curtain. plummeted to their death. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure that actually killed it them. It did. The drop kick killed them. <laughs> I fucking love that move! Oh, I missed. Fuck. Oh, well, he's still down for a while. Now, our machine where they have super cool machines, but you use the sword anyways. Basically, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, well, this guy is the worst. Like, he really is the worst. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta remember when I see worst to not fucking topple him because he's the fucking worst. Yeah, but you had spike defense, so you actually see him. Fair enough. Also, uh, Dunban and Ryan made absolute mincemeat. <laughs> I really appreciate how we have this really weird 2 a.m. 
difficult making experience and then never spoke of it again. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Fellow bear. <laughs> May the ivory be with you. <laughs> <laughs> it's better if we don't explain it. <laughs> so you could give someone, you could give your entire party no arts. Yeah. You, they have to have one art. But you can make sure uh, that it's one really like. Give stroke battle soul. <laughs> Nothing, Nothing battle soul. else. <laughs> Oops, all battle soul. <laughs> uh, Jaren, battle soul, by the way, takes away half of Shulk's HP. <laughs> Seppuku Chronicles. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's just like how me playing Shulk on Smash and just backslashing my way off of the fucking map three times. <laughs> I can see the fucking clickbait titles already. Can you beat Xenoblade <laughs> Chronicles with only battle souls? <laughs> no. The answer is no. It's a five second video. He just goes, no. <laughs> and then it ends. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh! <laughs> oh! Jeez, that one! Doesn't matter, I'm dead. <laughs> Ryan running up and instantly downing himself. Also, very nice kill. 69. Nice. 69, 911. That's a. Uh... That's a pretty spicy damage. That is a pretty spicy <laughs> amount of damage. <laughs> and, I'm gonna, and it's I'm on gonna April 20th that it happens. 420. Wow. That will never happen again. <laughs> uh oh. There goes literally. All oh of my God. There goes literally all of his health with one move. He was at full health. Oh my God! Ah! Holy, Holy fuck! <laughs> also, you may have noticed one little surprise. <laughs> Did you change anybody's clothes? I turned off all the default outfits. Oh no! <laughs> he looks Shut fucking this terrible. This is the worst. <laughs> this is actually. What the hell are you wearing? It's my ass kicking outfit, bitch. Wet rat. WET RAT! <laughs> Although it has thick, soggy fur, cuddling one keeps you warm. Oh, what? <laughs> That's actually kind of freaky a little bit. A wet, soggy furred rat. Yeah. And it's the... suggesting you cuddle it. And it's in the ice area of the game. In the ice area?! <laughs> this just seems like a bad idea. The questions just keep on mounting. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, this is looking pretty bad. Guests. Shulk. <laughs> Shulk's lifeless corpse. <laughs> Oil fox. Oil fox. Don't let that touch the fire fox. <laughs> You'll get an explosion fox. <laughs> Let's get him while he's still close to the edge. Go. Oh, but this isn't an almost dude. This is the Oh no! Version. I'm just fucked.
I did we it. Killed a red tag unique <laughs> monster. <laughs> <laughs> that was a tough fight, though. I actually had to be on my game for that one. I hope you even with the agil the agility bullshit. I hope you realize that what you did is basically one step removed from taking on Yahweh himself with a <laughs> looped up dildo. <laughs> I couldn't do anything about that! I was in the middle of an animation! Yeah. Oh yeah, by the way, you know that post that I said that was gonna alert the fucking horde? It has eight uh. upvotes now. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually getting a positive response. <laughs> On the fucking Dark Souls 2 wiki, I posted saying Dark Souls 2 was the worst Souls game, and I'm getting upvotes. <laughs> <laughs> and we right. did get some catharsis after that cancerous hour and a half of gameplay yeah. at the very end. This is one of those days when I wish I could fucking retroactively set titles so that I could fucking set the title to Xenoblade, the quest to defeat one boss. Because <laughs> that's all we fucking did. No. Yeah, because watch how much damage left. Like 200 damage. Oh, 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 What do we even do at this point? Uh, Soarin' Tempest or Worldly Slash? I would go with Worldly Slash. Personally. Nice. I don't like you. I agree with the Starbucks <laughs> idea of freedom and religious freedom. Sure. But I disagree with their insane racism. Fair. No, that's what makes them the most appealing. <laughs> God. <laughs> See, I'm really torn because I don't like the uh, Stormcloaks for their religious freedom, <laughs> but I but I gotta get on board with that extreme racism. Have you heard of the subreddit called R Insects? R Insects. I don't think I want to. You have heard of it now. Is it spelled I N E S E X? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love it and hate it. I don't think I need to explain anything more about that stuff. No, you certainly don't. No, I've, I've got it from here. Yep, I can fully imagine. I've been, I've been tuning you guys out. What the hell did I miss? <laughs> you don't want to know. We <laughs> fuck bugs here. Angry Monkey definitely sounds like a sex position. I hope you're ready for a quest with her. You get on, you get on her back and you just start, like, punching her in the back of the face. What? <laughs> the angry monkey. You start, you shit your head and you throw shit at her from the Sometimes Nathan comes up with an idea that I'm like, yeah, but why does your brain go there? Apparently Rhyme doesn't feel like wild down. These springs probably just have another down spike. Rhyme has wild down syndrome. <laughs> Jeez! <laughs> that was a comment! Do it. Tubble. And then he doesn't have a spike. Ryan, why have you not been toppling this entire time? You absolute buffoon. I've been hitting him with tons of break arts. Oh, didn't you say that we still haven't gotten to the bullshit spike defense thing? Yes. Is that... is that... what's next? Yes. Oh, fuck. <laughs> That's why you've been doing all the spike defense shit. <laughs> you finally figured it out. Finally taken notice, have you? <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, your 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 vision's really gonna happen, buddy. Yeah. This is totally going you're totally going to stay alive for the eight seconds it's going to take for the <laughs> <laughs> I, I saw what you did. The fucking the the <laughs> the viewers can't see this, but as soon as the vision started and I started talking shit, I literally put the controller down. <laughs> Did the disrespect. You thought it was over. But it was me, future connected. <laughs> For some reason, uh, my dumbass brain thought that only Melia exists. <laughs> uh, no, she's... Just Melia. <laughs> Just Melia. <laughs> Covert stance. AKA yogurt stance. Yogurt stance? Yeah. Is that really what it's called? Yeah. Ah! Nice. And this is Rhyme. 
Yeah. So. Uh. Well, most of this is already the same. Chive so bad. Chive so bad. Mild down. <laughs> Mild. <laughs> Hangry. <laughs> 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 or a toast. Magnum starch. It's the happy mask salesman. Huh. Gelga, at your majesty's service. Formerly of the personal protection division of the Alchemist I don't like this man. Huh. Is that so? Anyone with, who smiles with their eyes closed is immediately bed, concerning. Sir Welcome Gelga. to racism. <laughs> nice. Some simply cannot let go so easily. Don't take that sound bit out of context. Even lay people like you could use from dude i fucking Bro. killed god don't call me a lay person <laughs> yeah it doubles as a dildo and it's the perfect size for shulk oh my god what i don't think Zil i don't think shulk is really that trained personally you'd be surprised the minato goes really far up and no fiora has been training him ha they got into some weird stuff after Shulk became god and then decided not to become god. Yeah. They were like, man, what do we do now? His home life is really weird. Where do we where do we get our excitement now? <laughs> they really had to step it up a notch. No, they keep like inventing weird shit so that Dunvan gets pissed off at them all the time. Oh, I like that better. <laughs> it's purely mo that's the pure motivation <laughs> for it. It's just, just to fuck with Dunvan. Just like Dunvan's just what are you two doing upstairs this time? <laughs> <laughs> I'm really feeling it, Fiora. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> that one is a bit of coward, too, so tend to not show that he do a survey job properly. I was just trying to do like high pitched because they talk high pitched. Other one was assigned to area past Kragmog Caverns, stretching from like. On lefty side up to Piranul. Might be having case of screamy dab ab abdabs. That's not a real word. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> An unexpected circumstance, so Tentu would like to put mind at ease. Enlist <laughs> friends. Will you shut up already, Tentu? <laughs> Tentu says, Yo, Cloud looks cool. What Final Fantasy is this? <laughs> Uh, next, uh, Nopon I talked to is getting Toad voice. But cool. I don't know that for sure. I would hope that the game is built well enough to do that. Oh, I should have been reading this. It's fine. It was just the dude eating. <laughs> That's exactly why that needed to be read aloud! Can you make some chewing sounds to make up for it? <laughs> there you QUALIFY! <laughs> CERTIFIED! <laughs> ONLY MILDLY TERRIFIED! Bond Spectre Tay Tay is a... Uh, NAME! AND SURVEYING NEW LANDS IS GAME! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> uh, <coughs> it's hard to do that in long dialogue. It's really easy in short verse. We can kind of just- MARIO! We can skim read some of these if you want. But really, none of that matter, right? Tay Tay is smack middle of cataclysm. Struggle of life and death. Hmm, a problem. Tay Tay was sneak secret surveying, careful to hide from watchful monster eyes. But then made what? Worst mistake of life! <laughs> At end of bond inspection, let little victory tear slip out. And then monster spotted Tay Tay. Monsters poised to lunge for soft, succulent body of Tay Tay! <laughs> <laughs> that phrase! Thanks to quick escape legs, Tay Tay able to hoof it all the way here! But then grim realization, don't on Tay Tay! Somehow Tay Tay lose more precious than life protective germ! Tay Tay think possibly could have dropped it net. Nurse this necropolis! Just up slope here! Oh, please help Tete to find! Dear friend, Tete is begging you! Right. Is that not what Nopons sound like, though? Kinda, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, you'll quickly find that you're gonna start 
uh, having a huge trail of no pawns following you throughout the game. That's actually awesome, and I hope that comes soon. Hey, Melia and the no pawns. Yeah, Melia yep. and the no pawns. Then our new band. Yep. The bird brigade. The bird brigade. That's our rival band. We don't get along. Okay. <laughs> I thought your rival band was the Eagles. Eagles? <laughs> <laughs> fuck the Eagles. <laughs> What the fuck were they talking about with Hotel California? <laughs> Why would a hotel not let you check out? That's how they make their money! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just really, just really irrationally angry about it. <laughs> about the Eagles. <laughs> I'm just a dumbass, don't worry about me. Dropkick. Dropkick Murphys. It's another potential band name for <laughs> Dropkick Birdies. <laughs> there we go. There we go. There we go, that's another good band name. Hoo-hoo, friends found! Oh, is happiest day of life of Tay Tay. Tay Tay would start to be afraid. Would have dangerous bad luck forever. I'm adding him to our list of enemies, along with the e along with the eagles. <laughs> I understand you can't tell me why, but why can't you tell me why? Don't you understand that's suspicious? I mean, seriously, how can you know for certain it's going to be the last resort? There's got to be like other resorts in the world. Somebody can make another one. Yeah, come on. They're man. not that hard to come by. Wasted time. More like I wasted my time listening to the Eagles, am I right? I know, right? Eh? Eh? <laughs> Good. I mean, tequila at sunrise, really? Imagine a puce car. No pun. A what? A puce? puce. Ew. <laughs> Gross. Yeah. That's the one that never manages to find a girlfriend ever. Yeah, poor no pun. Just born ugly. In cell pun. <laughs> <laughs> no! Oh. You- I knew it! I fucking called it. Yeah. He was just immediately suspicious as fuck. Yeah, the game doesn't really hide it terribly well. <laughs> he was like, all red flags. Hey guys, I need you to hear this. There's- there's a change.org to get, uh, Jimmy Neutron to- <laughs> to be <laughs> restarted. <laughs> Yeah, that's- Well, that's, fucking sign it, man. That's gonna happen. <laughs> Here, here's one of the reviews. Jimmy Neutron was a highly intellectual show and had great character development and wonderful humor. It always encouraged being smart and putting your brain to good use. Many, including me, also enjoyed watching Jimmy Neutron, the Jimmy-Cindy relationship, which is pretty formidable for a cartoon show. There are tons of fans who still write fan fiction, too. Yeah, well, there are some people that are half lobotomized. <laughs> so. Well, there's there's one man who's written like four thousand pages of Sonic fanfiction alone on his own. So here's another one. Maybe we don't take the experiences of individual people as evidence. Hey, here's another one. I loved Heart Jimmy. It was the only cartoon smart. I must safeguard their future. To be fair, you do have to have a pretty high IQ to understand Jimmy Neutron. <laughs> I know I sure didn't at the time, but now I totally understand. Yeah. Honestly, though, the 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 clearly superior series was Planet Sheen. <laughs> Jimmy Neutron walked so Planet Sheen could run. Yeah. <laughs> really groundbreaking stuff. There. Oh my God! Someone in April said the show was amazing. It's the children version of Rick and Morty. <laughs> Oh no, I was joking, man! Come on! <laughs> and the, uh, Hyentia with the, uh, that were full-blooded, uh, were able to sort of float down using their wings. Mm -hmm. Uh, but they're all kind of dead now. Yeah, so Hyentias just have extra appendages that make it annoying to sleep on their backs. So half Antias can't float? Correct. Interesting. They're kind of just vestigial. <laughs> Why? There's too many no pots! <laughs> too many chickens! Mm -hmm. But they're a lot less necessary in a video game, in my opinion. Yeah. No! Idiots! <laughs> the crown is mine now! Talon! 
Melia is dead. Oh my god. <laughs> Pinball? Oh, we have played the pinball sound effect. That is hilarious. You know, like when you you get yeah. like a spare or whatever. <laughs> like a spare or whatever. the folk king. I can't think of the right name. <laughs> That's bowling. Yes. Yeah, I played the bowling Much sound effect. Enough. There we go. <laughs> That's why it was so funny to me. Because you said pinball. <laughs> when you get like a spare or whatever. I'm sorry, I, you. I said pinball and I meant bowling. <laughs> the team! The team! Go team! Go sports! Alright, can you just explain what's going on here? Hi, thank you. I have no idea. I'm not eating this. Sports! I'm so happy with my daughter. She loves sports and she loves my eyes on. Hello, Internetians, and welcome to I Swear This Isn't XCOM. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. There's no XCOM here. <laughs> yeah, you just have to go collect more pawn inspections after each one of those. What? Well, that's it because I don't have meter because I just did an attack. What is this? For? He just. Switched aggro to me. Used his used one with... attack and insta killed me. Yeah. This is why visions existed, guys. You need to level up your arms to make them stronger. Like increase their multipliers and reduce the attack. What? Devour X. Stop! <laughs> Fuck this game. Jacob, <laughs> can you do something? Oh my god, you're all the way back here! Yes! That's yeah. why I'm fucking pissed! Oh, right. uh, Nandale Smokey JoJo. Oh, you're selling. I thought you were just buying everything. No. <laughs> I was like, what are you doing? Jacob, what are you doing? No! <laughs> <laughs> I'm scalping. It'll work in the long run. <laughs> That's a bit crazy. You fucking aggroed the boss. What? That's what I was trying to do. No, you're trying to aggro the dude next to me. Oh. Oops. Well, have fun dying. I can take this. Ah! No, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> Words fucking eaten. <laughs> Talk about comedic timing. I think one of the ways that the other uh, Warhammer 40k factions fight the orcs is by painting. Painting their weapons red so that they the the orcs more <laughs> because they think that the red weapons do more damage. That's actually <laughs> great. <laughs> they don't even have sex. They don't even understand. They're just like, yeah, there's a bunch of us, right? They just reproduce by bunch. They just collectively decided that. They just collectively decided that they were the horde faction. Okay. And as such, there is always a horde of them. <laughs> no matter how many you kill. And then there's orcs. It's just over the top fantasy. It's pretty goofy shit. I think yeah. they, they canonically have to teleport through hell itself in order to do space travel. Yeah, they teleport through the warp. Yeah, and the warp is literally just to get through hell. Yeah, pretty much. What? They're all just they, these gone. motherfuckers just are using nether travel? Yeah. <laughs> what? Oh, you just uh, chain attack through his topple ability. Oh. I hit the button and it was just frozen for a while. Yeah, it freezes because it waits for the enemies to resolve all their attacks. But the Fog King was about to use his top ability. <laughs> and it negated the eyes. Yeah. That's very lucky on my part. 